and I'm in the kitchen as usual. Yeah, I know. Anyway, I wanted to share something with you. I promised myself I was going to start eating breakfast every day. Well, today I am doing just that, even though it's uh, 12, 2.20 in the afternoon. Anyway, I wanted to share with you what my favorite breakfast is. I just finished frying up some bacon um, in the oven. And I love bacon, but normally it's I gotta knock hands away from it and I end up getting an old burnt piece or whatever. So anyway, I got three pieces of bacon all to myself. And I like to have bacon and strawberry jam on toast. I love it. It's one of my favorite things to have, along with a glass of milk to wash it all down. I just wanted to share that with you because I'm trying my best to stay on point. And I also got to drink a big glass of water to go with all of that. Four times a day, a 16-ounce glass of water. And I'm really trying to stick to that. It's good for old people to um, nurture their bodies and stay hydrated. While well, I'm Siobhan. eating my toast and bacon, I thought I'd share with you my progress on um, my freezer, pantry, Refrigerate challenge. Well, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I had to kind of break it last week. My husband and I went out of town. And it was at that point I realized that I'm not only creating menus and meals, I'm crafting them. Mm. It's so good. And a lot of times, if you like to cook from scratch, you may find yourself in the same position. Where, I mean, it's easy just to take a, a bag, throw it in the microwave, put some butter and salt and pepper on it. But when you take a bag of mixed vegetables into a whole scrumptious meal, or, um, for example, we had um, double menu day and we had um, fried rice yesterday. So um, I took the rice that I got from Sam Club. You know, you buy them, six of them of like this. And I could make this. In fact, I would have, but I didn't have time. So it was easy just to take it out. And what well, was actually left over from um, when we were on vacation, they didn't eat it. So. Uh, back to the freezer pantry challenge thing. So I took that out. I had some frozen um, scallions. So I cut those up. I have some uh, portobello mushrooms. Baby Bellas. I'm going to cut those up. And I have the remnants of a roaster chicken that I got from Sam's Club that was in the freezer. Cutting that up. And I'm adding a pound of mixed vegetables to that. Um, I'm also going to um, fry an egg. Well, actually four eggs. And I make out like an omelet, except I don't put anything in it. Fry it and then cut it up into shreds. And I mix that in there too. Uh, that's crafting a meal versus just cooking a meal. And so, because it's so hard for other people to craft a meal, mm, Hey, this is the fried rice that I crafted for my family, and it was delicious. I had two extra bags of frozen mixed vegetables, some uh, roasted chicken that I uh, pulled apart, and mushrooms, some scallions. The kids absolutely loved it. I could have done this from scratch, but instead, I went ahead and I paid $20 for two pans of this for the two days, when I could have done the same thing for three or less. Uh, shame on me. Anyway, I apologize for all the chomping and the slurping and everything, but that was the first meal I'd had all day, and old people don't do good well with uh, low blood sugar. Okay, let's go back to the video. I totally forgot. I started running my mouth. I forgot to let you know how I've been doing on my freezer, refrigerator, pantry uh, challenge. Well, I got today um, 54. No. Yeah. Day 54, because I left from, yeah, 54. I, I did 54 days on the freezer pantry challenge. That's not bad. It means um, seven, like seven times, seven, almost eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Almost eight weeks with um, not shopping for any meats. Um, 
definitely no meats, but I did have to fill with dairy and fresh fruits and some vegetables, not many. And uh, I, I, it really did. We saved a lot of money by doing that. Um, so um, we're going to have to start all, all over again from day one because I did um, buy uh, a week's worth of boxed stuff from Sam's Club. I hated that. It hurt. It was hurt me to my heart that I was going to have to come to y'all and then reveal that I had been unfaithful to the challenge. But take heart. If you can't keep it and you may miss up one, you know, one or two days, go back to it. I'm going back to it with a fervor, proudly. And start, I'm starting Freezer Challenge um, fresh. Starting, I started it yesterday on the 1st of November. It's always, it's easy to keep up with if you start on the 1st of the month. So I start again. Um, the first one I did, I started on the 1st of September. And I end up breaking it on the 24th of October. It happens like that. This time, I'm going to the, um, I'm starting the day, the 1st of November. I'm starting all over again, my freezer pantry challenge, and I'm using um, the fried rice that they did not use when I was gone, so that was already in the freezer, so I'm using that, and I had some, fro like I said, I had the frozen scallions, and I've got the leftover mushrooms that I actually bought to take with me when we, we uh, went on the trip, but I didn't use them. We were in a, traveling in a motorhome, and I didn't use them. We ain't not rich. It's a raggedy motorhome, the roof leak. Okay, so don't even, don't even think about that. Anyway, so we, I got um, leftover mushrooms and onions and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got about uh, 20 minutes before the kids come. And I got uh, uh, some cookies for them that they did not know were here while we were gone. So they can have those cookies. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, um, and get ready for the rush that comes and starts at 3 o'clock every afternoon. And the day is Friday, so I really don't have to have dinner ready at 5 because um, I don't normally feed the kids until like 6 or 7 because they're up later and they want to eat the whole time. Their eyes are, kids like that at your house, if the eyes are open, they're eating. But well, that's like they are here. And uh, they're getting bigger now, so it's like having almost eight grown. Some of them, let's see, one, two, I think six of them eat like grown folks. Yeah, six of them eat like grown folks. So it's like having six extra grown folks eating around the clock if their eyes open. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done so I can sit down and, and get my hugs and kisses while I'm sitting at the desk. And I don't have to worry about this. That's it. This is me in the kitchen. Bye-bye. Hey, look at my clean freezer. It hasn't looked like this since the day we brought it here. Yes. And uh, it only took me maybe tops five minutes to clean this freezer. A lot easier than cleaning the refrigerator. So now I'm just going to turn it back on. I'm going to put on uh, coldest. I like my stuff cold. And have it on coldest there. And I'm going to start putting my uh, stuff back in.